For most divers, South Africa is best known for the sighting of sharks, whales and of course the sardine run. But there is more. The coast of South Africa is immeasurably long and very varied. You'll find coasts with cold water as well as tropical reefs, beautiful sandy beaches and rugged rocky coasts where the waves crash onto. During spring we could admire a small piece of this natural beauty. In particular the coasts around Port Elizabeth and Cape St. Francis, which is about 100 kilometers to the west. The marine life off the coast of Port Elizabeth is a bit reminiscent of that at the Mediterranean coast of France and Spain, but life here is more exuberant and colorful. We were fortunate that we could dive into a calm sea with a visibility of more than 30 meters. The beautiful gorgonians in all colors and sizes and the dozens of species of fish were a true feast for the eye. Of course many sharks were also present. The ragged tooth shark is the most common type and is beautiful in all its ugliness. The rare pyjama shark, which is endemic to the coastal waters of South Africa, was also present. But that was not the main reason for our visit to South Africa. We came here to see the Choka Run, a little known natural phenomenon. To this end we moved to Port St. Francis, a small fishing port about 100 kilometers west of Port Elizabeth. Upon our arrival, the Choka boats were already busy fishing. You might be wondering, what are Choka? They are species of squid. Huge numbers of squid come to the coastal waters during November to February, then it's summer in South Africa. They will lay their eggs in large numbers not on the hard substrate as in the eastern scald, but just on the sandy bottom. However, they use small hard objects such as shells and rocks among the sand to attach their egg strings to. Unfortunately, the visibility here is limited to a maximum of 6 to 7 meters and large amounts of algae give the green color to the water. It is actually strange that close under the coast the water is colored green, while a bit further away it's bright blue. The very numerous squid deposit their egg strings so massively that one can find entire fields of egg strings. They are like swaying grass fields, but composed by millions of eggs. Of course, the massive schools of squid attract many predators. Thus, rays, sharks and dolphins are very numerous in the immediate vicinity of the squid.
You must have some luck to dive with the chocker. The schools of squid move regularly between the different areas used for egg deposition. Also, they are sometimes near the bottom to deposit their eggs, and then they are somewhere just below the water's surface. So there's no assurance that you get to see them. But if they are there, it's an impressive phenomenon and a pleasure to watch them. And of course there are also the fishermen who try to catch the squid with loose fishing lines with lures with some sharp little hooks. On board the captured squid are immediately sorted, frozen and packaged according to their size. It may sound odd, but the catch is mainly exported to Europe. So the calamari that you get on your plate here or in Spain is more than likely of South African origin. In turn, the calamari that are served in South Africa are imported from Spain and Portugal. It's a strange world, isn't it? <laughs> 